So I just showed how it's a lot easier to interact between your Quickly code and Glade now than it used to be. So now I'm going to quickly show you another really cool new feature, which is how much better working with preferences has become. So let's pretend that I want to make a preference so like the user can set what the default text is in this uh, entry field when they um, when the application starts up. So I'm going to quit the application and then I'm going to go back to the Glade designer and um, when I'm uh, let's see where's Glade. I'm going to go back to the Glade designer. Oop, wrong function. Uh-huh, Glade's been closed. So um, I'm going to run quickly design again to open. This will open Glade. And what I'm going to first do is I'm going to add the um, the the GUI part for the um, for the preference, and then I'll show you how to connect to that and how everything gets automatically persisted with very very little code. So here I am, and I want to select the preferences dialog, and what I want to do is add another field here and the field that I want he to be here is going to be um, default text. So first I'm going to select the table that the widgets are in by default and then I'm going to use the general tab to change rows to two. So this will add another row to the table. And then I'm going to put a label in there just to make it a bit more realistic. I'll go ahead and set the label for the it'll say default text default text even and then I'm going to put in the entry that I want now a lot of times when you're using quickly it's okay just to use the default name that is given to a um, that's given to a widget. So in this case, the widget's called entry one. But I don't want to keep the name because I'm going to use the name in a special way. So I'm going to call it default text. So the name of the entry widget is default text. I'm going to save Glade here to make sure it's all working. I'm going to go back to gedit. And now I'm going to connect up the preferences dialog. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the preferences. And the reason I'm going to the preferences is just because I want to add a default here. So the default is for, as you remember, default text. And let's say, like, when the first user first runs the app, I'll set the preference for them to be Boof, the name of the app. Okay, so I've named that Boof. Now, there's one more thing that I need to do is I need to edit the preferences dialog code. So we'll go to the preferences dialog code. And here what I need to do is tell the dialog how to interact with the widget. As you remember, the widget was called default text. And now I need to give it a list. And the list that I need to give it is to have the function on the widget that you use to get the value out. So since it's an entry field, get text is how you get the value out. If it was a checkbox, you would say get active, for instance. So then I need to tell it how, what function to call to set the value, and that's set text. And then I need to tell it what signal to use in order to automatically update when the user makes a change. So now I'll save that file too. So now I'm re actually ready to use the preference. That's all I have to do. The Quickly template will handle persisting the preferences for me, and it'll um, it'll make them usable, accessible in the rest of my code. So why don't I show you how we can do that? If we go to the boof file, again the main file that runs, and go to the finish initializing function. The finish initializing function is where you put things that you want to do on first run. There's a preferences object already created for me preferences and I know that the preference that I want is called default text. So this will access it for me. So what I want to do is I just want to set the entry. This is the entry. So oops, 
So I said self.ui.entry1.set text, and then I want to pull the preference from the um, from the preferences dialog. So just I'll pull the text from the preferences dialog by indexing into it like this. See, so it's just basically preferences looks like a dictionary to the rest of your code. So it's really easy to use. So if I um, kept all the names, uh, did all the conventions properly, I should be able to do quickly run. Hmm. Oh, huh. So what's happened is this is the <laughs> second time I've run this and it's already has persisted a value in desktop couch. So let's see if I say edit preferences. It says Daffy, but I want it to say boof. So I'll say close. If we quit this and I run it again, you see it's been changed. So I didn't have to write any code. You see, it persisted it. I can say boof too. I don't have to write any code to persist that change automatically. And in fact, since um, this is being stored in desktop couch, this setting will automatically be synced to my any other computers that I'm using a Ubuntu One account on. So um, in this way, quickly is like leverage the power of desktop couch for you really easily just by editing three files. So all I have to do is edit the preferences dialog, then edit the preferences object, then edit the code for the preferences file, and then I can come into the main window and I can access the preference like that. And then as the user changes the preference, it's kept up and persisted automatically. So there's the new preferences in quickly in for Natty. Really, really cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs>